Hi, my name is Juliet and I am a speech language therapist at Neuropedia Children's Neuroscience Centre. Today I want to talk to you about stuttering. Stuttering is usually seen for the first time between the ages of two and six years. It is normal for children to go through a period of stuttering when they are first learning speech and language. However, if the stuttering persists for longer than six months, this may be cause for concern and a visit to the speech language therapist is needed. I would like to explain what are some examples of stuttering and what are some examples of the normal disfluencies that we all produce in our day-to-day -day lives. An example of normal disfluencies would be repeating whole words. For example, well, well, I'd like to go there today. Another example of a normal disfluency would be adding a word in a sentence. For example, I um, think I like ice cream. Or you could change the word within a sentence. I had, I lost my tooth. So these are all normal and are not cause for concern. Some examples of disfluencies or stuttering that are a cause for concern, and if you notice this in your child, a visit to a speech therapist might be needed. I will give you a few examples. If a child is repeating part of a word, for example, I w w want to go there. If a child appears to present with tension or stress when they are speaking, I like ice cream. If a child is repeating one syllable words within a sentence, an example would be go, go, go away. What you may also notice in your child who is exhibiting these atypical disfluencies or stuttering is other behaviors. Now examples of these behaviors may include eye blinking and head nodding. The child may also tap their fingers on the table, tap their fingers on their legs, the child may also avoid certain words when they are talking because these are words that they know they will stutter on. Lastly, I would like to talk about when to bring your child to the speech therapist for stuttering. Firstly, if there is a history of stuttering in the family. If you notice that the child has started stuttering late, so after the age of three and a half years. If you notice that the stuttering is persisting for longer than six to 12 months. If you notice that the child is very tense or anxious when talking. These are just some examples of when it would be a good decision to bring your child to the speech therapist so that she can provide strategies and help the child to communicate better in their day-to-day -day environment.